So how is it to finally experience a new tent, a modern tent? Because I haven't owned a tent in years. I'm going to pitch my tent down right there. Uh, it's not that big of a space, I think it's going to be okay. And just look at the view. That's why I want to pitch my tent right here. So here is my tent and tent poles in a separate bag. And this tent is super easy to set up. I'm used to having tent poles that you feed through the fabric or the tent. And then they always get stuck or I'm afraid that it will damage the tent if I push too hard. And that's so annoying. These tent poles, that's not necessary. But before we go to the, or before we start using the setting up the poles, uh, we need to set up the ground sheet. Now, which way is up and down here? I don't know. I think this is up. Maybe it makes no difference. Well, it was not a big place there, but I want to sleep here. I want to sleep here. And I think we need to secure it in place. Well, I think I'm doing this the right way. But I'm a noob, so... Who knows? <laughs> this is going to be... Uh, not that great. This is not working. Let's try here. Is it better this way? <laughs> well, let's see what happens. And now I think we set up the poles, which basically almost goes you know, by itself. Now we just put them, these poles into these small holes here. Okay, that's kind of the problem though. But let me just try to let it stay there for now. Set up the inner tent first. This is the second time I was setting up this tent, so I'm sure I could be a lot more efficient. So I think I put these on the same, just the same pegs. And yeah, need to put them in the same hole as well here. I guess I can do that perhaps. It'll be fine. This is super easy. You just attach the tent to the pole like this. So it's a lot easier than, than using the feeding the tubes through the tent. And now I think I want to try the tent. How is it to sleep in here? I think it's going to be okay. Right now I'm it's okay to sleep here. I will just set up the tent now and maybe I'll move it later. You just clip this into here. On all, on all four sides. And by the door you have these things uh, here that you also need to put on this center pole. And that's basically it. You just attach the pegs and these guy lines. It was easy to just move the tent around until I found the best spot. And my favorite thing about this tent, which might be just a normal thing, is that it's quite easy to remove the outer layer.
And now I am inside the tent and I have such a great view because there's mesh all over. And I just love this. If it's warm, you can stay comfortable inside your tent. And look outside, everywhere. Uh, it also has this shelf here. I can put my tent light and stuff. Got some pockets on each side, so that's just great. Now I need to get rid of the company I have here. If try to open them on both sides and then chase them out. Is opening on both sides going to make it easier? I don't think so, but <laughs> no, this is hopeless. I know what I can do though. I've closed here and I have a small opening here. So it's a foggy morning, but it's starting to clear up. It looks nice. So I didn't have a good night sleep, but it looks nice, so it's worth it. So it's quite foggy and so it's kind of wet here. I've been watching Paul Messner, Messner and he used a cloth to wipe the tent, so I guess I need to do what the professionals are doing. It would have been nice if the vestibule area here had been a bit bigger. Even if I stretch it out, I feel like the backpack, if I want to have the backpack a bit further away from the entrance, it kind of touches the side here. And so, yeah, it's okay. But uh, it could be nice with a big, bigger vestibule area. Which I can buy, actually. I am very, very happy with this tent. It's very easy to put up and take down. And do you want to know why I use a rocket stove instead of a Trangia or anything else? And check out that video. Or if you haven't seen it already, maybe check out my first ever solo wild camp video.